looking at the smiles of the late Ibitune Igodalo, who died on Sunday, 14th June 2020. Sympathizers have been trooping into her residence to pay their tribute and condolences to the family, especially the surviving husband, Pastor Igodalo Itua. And they have us to protect him. He can work. He can help me. So, I pray that I have to pray. Because I need to look after him. Thank you all for your work here. Thank you all for your work here. I want to give 40 women the opportunity to do IVF. You have 40 times 6 million. That's all. I don't think I will do it. face there was a sheer look of absolute glee and joy if you'll allow my imagination uh, as she looked onto the inside and saw long lines of the saints dearly departed including the prophets of old kings of old the saints of old and dearly departed and beloved of this family and as she walked in she saw that long line and to her left was a fellow with a great great big beard and he said to her well done you know, the faithful servant of the Lord she said you must be Moses met with Elijah, Ezekiel, and the like. She looked beneath her at her feet and she saw that the streets there were under transition in Christ. Not in her personal words, or lack of them, but she put her faith in Christ. There's salvation in no other name other than the name of Jesus Christ. And that's where she put her faith. For that reason, I make very bold to declare having pastored her at one time before she went to a better house, a better church, that I believe she's walking streets of gold. And in those last moments when she was about to draw her last breath, I am certain that the Darth Vader, the Grim Reaper, tried to seize her spirit and take her to the abyss. But I'm also sure that the Lord's hosts were there to say, touch not my anointed, neither do my daughter any harm. She asked a few questions, but why is Ifa's house so much bigger than mine? How is it small? Um, and said, well, at your passing, something very deep <coughs> happened to him. It deepened his walk, his consecration, his sense of purpose. And this house is the fruit and reward of that work. So I believe at times like this, there are opportunities to deepen our walk with God, but so suddenly, without warning, 